Hey everybody, it's me. It's Jason, so uh, we've been out tuning. And uh, we got this thing dialed in. I mean, it is sick. The throttle response is unreal. So, I'm in third gear right now. So once we got it dialed in, all the backfiring's gone. And the throttle response is just borderline stupid. So I've had it out here running it up and down the four lane. Surprisingly enough, nobody's called the law on me. But we've been playing This bike though, it's a whole new bike. Performance wise. It's the bike I was looking for. Now, I'm still gonna have to do some re-gearing. And uh, I'm gonna change the sprocket sizes around the bike comes stock at a 2.8 ratio. Uh oh. If you're one of those idiots that blows your grass in the road, I hope you ain't never have to live with that conscience. So, the bike comes stock with a 2.8 ratio. So, the bike comes stock with a 2.8 ratio. And I don't know what taking it up to a 3 or a 3.2 or a 3.5 is going to do. But what I'm looking for is to get a little, little more torque down low. And uh, lose a little speed up high. So to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around with the sprockets in the next video. This ride right here is the 3x3. Three three, the performance ride. And it is worth everything. The throttle response. I mean, the stupid thing wants to run out from under you. It is a completely different motorcycle. So, if y'all watch video number five, we did the 3x3 three three mod and in the mod I went with a 150 jet well I ended up going back and putting a 155 in it and I am so happy I did This thing is unbelievable. We have definitely unleashed the beast that was hiding in all that engineering. Man. Even in fifth gear, you can feel it just wanting to go. Let's go, go, go. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Ah. So glad we done these mods. So I didn't want to bore you all with the uh, the first ride. It took me probably about 25, 30 minutes of tuning on the uh, the fuel screw that we added to realize that the uh, the one the 150 still wasn't keeping up with the 3x3 three three mod with the exhaust I put on here, the Dominator R. So I went back to the house and uh, put the uh, 150 in it. 
and that's what it was waiting for. I mean, it just unbelievable. It's night and day. So even in fifth gear, you can feel it just wanting to pull, take off out from under you. I am extremely happy with the mod. Now, that being said, we still got to work some work to do with the sprockets and uh, with the ratio. I'm thinking just, you know, talking out loud, I think I'm looking for about a 3.2. And uh, a 3.2, I'm gonna try that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the bike right now has a 1542 stock on it and I'm going to buy a 14 front I'm going to buy a 44 and a 46 rear and I'm going to play with the different ratios until I get until I get where I want to be so I still run the interstate But I want my power down low, especially if I can get a little better, better tractoring out of it. Low gear, just kind of idling along. RPM <laughs> Joker about jumped right out from under me <laughs> Don't worry if that happens I'll show you <laughs> take me a while to get used to this it has got so much more throttle response it's just instant Whack. man this road's busy today So if you're considering the 3x3 three three mod, I'm going to say it's a thumbs up. Easy. Got traffic coming up behind us. So I'm gonna stay out here and play around a little bit. Try to get used to this thing. I mean, honestly, all jokes aside, it's like I've went from a 650 to a 1000 as far as throttle response and just burst of power. Some of you know what I'm talking about by the, the old uh, two stroke power bands. This bike now rides like it's got a power band. All you gotta do is twist the throttle and there's a whole reserve of power that you didn't have there before. So, I've obviously gotta find me a road that ain't so busy for me to play on. But I just wanted to show y'all that the three by three mod we did is unbelievable and worth worth it so if you've got aspirations to upgrade to three by three I'm telling you I think it should have been one of the first things I've done because it's a completely different bike 
But right now we're cruising along at 70 mile an hour. I think after I do the gearing 70 to 75 for a kind of a top speed, comfortable, that's what I'm looking for. This bike's still pulling in the low RPM, the low range at 70. And I want to get it to where 70 is. 70 is comfortable, but it's at the higher end, so. This being video number six, performance ride of three by three. Takes all kinds. We'll, uh, video number seven is gonna be, be the sprocket thing. We'll work through the gearing. baby okay I just want to take out on the short ride to show you the performance side of this thing wow it's great so this is video number six I'm Jason on my way to the Rockies I'll see y'all number seven until then Enjoy the ride.